guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2, episodes 12 and 13 of March Comes In Like a Lion, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, let's talk about what happened a couple of minutes ago, so I'm ready to record. I just got through the opening, and the opening is beautiful, by the way, and I got like a second into the episode, and my mom busts the door open. You know, like the big bird meme. I put a tweet about it because she had food for me because of my diet and everything and how, like, I wouldn't eat certain things, but I can't eat certain things and stuff like that. So she made me, like, um, her take of a grilled cheese sandwich, except there was no bread. It was just, like, a quesadilla wrap, um, cheese, tomato, and turkey. And it, and it was good. Like, really, really good. <laughs> but I'm like... All I see is, boof! <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And then I was like, oh, well, thank God it was only, like, a minute in and not, like, four minutes in because, oof. <laughs> or, no, it'd be worse if it was, like, 15 minutes in because I've been, like, Okay. Very deserted. Very like after Christmas or like the day of Christmas when it's very, very quiet and you can't go anywhere except the movies. Oh. Good. Just make sure you're eating actual foods and not, never mind, point in case you're about to eat ramen. Yes, ramen is good, but you can't always eat something artificial. Oh, that looks so good, though. Damn it. Anime food. See, even when you're on a fucking diet, you're like, oh my god, it looks so good, I want everything! Oh, and he has the green tea. I want green tea. You're gonna make me want to go to the Asian store. Or at least Walmart. Oh, oh. Colorful? That too. Yeah, it's different when you're eating by yourself versus with friends or family. It's hmm? uh, a clock. What, Kyoko? Um, your parents? Uh, your st- your stepdad- Kyoko? I mean... Kyoko's dad, maybe? Ah! 
I know that feeling. Oh, even the cats. I think if I had one of those, my dog would not want to be on <laughs> Their home is your safe haven as well. You just feel happier there. And when you leave, yeah, you feel like you're drowning and everything's coming up to you all at once. And it's a little too much for you at times. He might be one of the most complex characters I've ever truly seen. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing, but like, th there's moments where like, The situation that he's in is so fucked up. You think you've always met a character who has like such a tragic, sad backstory and then you meet someone who has it even worse and you're like, oh my God. Because right now it's between him and the kids from Akudama Drive. Of course, and then the pressure is a lot more, but you'll do fine. You always do good. <clears throat> oh, money, of course. <laughs> That or it would be like my favorite reality TV show competition where, you know, you travel around the world for one million dollars. A free trip, but, you know, money. Your girl would like to go on that show, but my mom was like, no. I'm not eating, you know, cow something for a million dollars. Yeah, because, like, they like, what, cow, yeah, they eat cow lips. And I was like, oh, okay, I don't know about that.
These Easter eggs are so good. backstory on him because I really like him a lot. I mean, he seems like a very, possibly another complex character. Hopefully it happens. Like, a little more information instead of, you know, always focusing on my baby boy Ray as much as I love Ray. Hell, I even said that watching the recap episode. I can't with this guy. What's up? The guy with the Yakuza? Mm. Do you see that smirk hole? Whoever he's voiced by, he got a really nice voice. Jesus. No, 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 no. So, so, put the flag on the plate. Are you fucking serious? No. No, 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 no. Um. Oh, no. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, he's an ass with a really nice voice.
Okay, so hold up. So you're telling me Goto's wife is in the hospital, but Goto is having a relationship with Kyoko? What the fuck domestic girlfriend bullshit is this? Hold up now. Like, wait, 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 wait. I mean, y'all serious? We're going to talk about this again in a couple of minutes, but I, I mean, we're going to pause on that because I got so questions. <laughs> Momo, laugh. Oh my god, please. Like, I don't want it my heart. Oh my god. Oh, right. <laughs> and of course the cat are gonna want the fish too. <sighs> you look at that rice, oh my god. I, I want rice. Even though I am filled on my grilled cheese quesadilla. You gonna make me cry over a damn child. I'll see you next time.
Then you go against him. You better beat his ass. I swear to God. Oh my. So we already know automatically Smith is possibly going to lose this next match. I'm okay with that. But, you, so, like I said, you telling me this man is in a technically in a relationship with Kyoko or is it one-sided? Because Kyoko so in love with him that he doesn't really give two shits about her. But then why the fuck would he punch Ray? I mean, like, see, we need context on that edge. Can we go back to that moment and to see what happened to why the fuck Ray got punched by him? Hopefully we get that soon. I mean, honestly, this might be like the best match that we might see if it's going to happen. It seems like it is, but I'm guessing that's not going to happen until like at least 14 to... 17 maybe I'm not 100% sure but this is a really nice way to return after you know taking a break because I got sick last week and you know you just love getting sick on the worst days I'm sure right? I mean it fucking sucks but oh I don't like him I don't out of all the people Kyoko could have date, why the fuck is she dating the toxic, like, he, he an old man. He, he, he like in his, what, 40s? Mid-30s? 40s? Yeah, cause, why is his wife in the hospital? What the, yeah, 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 yeah. why the fuck are you, are you cheating on your wife? And like, Hello? Like, honestly, I need something on that shit. That's so, all. That's a pretty picture. Because, what the fuck is this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you tell. This is. Oh my god. I'm like kind of getting Nana feels all over again. I don't like that. Like, oh. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? So you were. You. Yes. Oh my god. Kyoko is fucking Nana. Oh my god. It's so freaking serious because of the fact is, okay, this is what I'm going to go ahead and ask now. And it's okay if somebody spoils me on this, but okay. Is this Kyoko's like first relationship? Because if it is, then yes, that makes 100% why she's similar to Nana. And she's never really had been in love with someone. So of course she's going to fall in love with someone who is much older than her. And of course he's going to take advantage of her, even though he really doesn't give two shits about her at the end of the day. Oh my God, are you fucking, you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. I don't, I don't even know what else to say about this episode. I just need that shit about Coco because, okay. I, like, oh god, just, mm. Looking at this now and me <laughs> saying in the beginning, I don't like Kyoko. Like, Kyoko a bitch. And then everybody's like, no, no, I don't like Kyoko. Like, you guys, this is not the third. And now, like, seeing this asshole and wanting to beat the shit out of him. How Ray was about to go ahead and duke it out. Like, yes, I go ahead and beat the shit out of him, please. Like, oh, that would have been so much nice. It would have made me so much fun. I'd be like, oh, my God. But seriously, I mean... If Smith wasn't in the way, I love Smith, but like the one time you just want somebody to just sit your ass down on the side, but no, like we can't do that because we gotta be nice and we gotta settle it all on the freaking, you know, court, chess, battlefield, whatever. But yeah, I mean, honestly, it just seems like Kyoko, it, it is completely and ultimately one sided that he really doesn't give two shits about her. And she's just, I wouldn't say head over heels in love with him, but she does, she does say, she says that she loves him. But to me, it seems like 
it's not true love. She's only like infatuated with him. I don't know. That's why I'm really hoping we do get a little more clarity on her and him and their relationship. Also, like th this is why, as I said, la what, not last week, but two weeks ago, why I want other episodes focusing on other characters besides Ray. We're getting it, but I want it to be like, okay, take a little break from Ray and like do an episode all about Smith or do an episode all about Kyoko or like anybody else. I don't know, like Akari, Hina, uh, Momo. I don't know what you really could do for Momo. I mean, <laughs> it'll just be 20 something minutes of Momo just being cute as fuck. And I just be like, oh my God, precious baby girl, I love you so much. I'm going to die. But I mean, honestly, dead ass. Yes, that's what I really, truly think we need. I, I love the fact that we're getting the flashbacks of the connection that Ray has with someone, but I kind of need a little more context. And I'm, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's a really good thing because there are good, there are animes that have done it in the past before and there's been a poor way of doing it and it's been a really good, awesome way of doing it. And as of right now, this is doing a really, really good job on the connections and the relationships and what it means and what is the conflict between person A, person B, person C, this is that for everybody in the mother F and alphabet. But yeah, I mean, you know, for a uh, for episode twelve, like oof. I, I did not think we were going this route. I thought this was gonna be a very like calm, serene episode. But no, y'all was just like <laughs> Like here you go, here's everything. You're about to feel everything that you can in less than twenty minutes, but it's okay. I just really I hope you know what? All I'm going to say is karma is a bitch. And Kyoko, I'm sorry. But fuck your boyfriend. Or, you know, uh, unless, you know, you you the mistress. But still, not you. Just him. Fuck him. Screw him. He an ass. And I need him to go. Maybe not now. Maybe a couple weeks from now. Maybe by the time we're done with this show. The halfway point. He need to go. That's all. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 13. Okay, episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. I know. Like, I like, you eat that for the both of us. Why are your kids so cute? Oh my god. Don't make me cry over this again, aren't you? You just like, yeah, we're gonna show this again just so DJ can cry. <laughs> Thank you for having her VA play such cute kids, cause oh my god. Also, thank you for letting her play a computer in Persona 5 Scramble. Really not a computer, but a cell phone. But in the fucking computer! Oh my god!
child made me fucking cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Smith, what the fuck? <laughs> Isn't that a little too much salt, though? What if this is just the whole episode? Him eating. <laughs> Even though I don't think it will be. Maybe not today.
W's win, but if you lose, it's okay. Just even the way Gojo was looking at him like that, like, ugh, chills. And I'm guessing your first time you lost against him. So, you know what that looks like green. God, his eyes look so empty. Ugh, he gives me fucking chills. I don't like him. trying to make you lose your call. Mm. I'm just getting submerged. And you tell me Kyoko don't feel like that anytime she around him? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Probably not as heavy as you.
You tried your best, though, Smith. Probably. You wanna go drink your sorrows? baby Fuck this fucker, really, honestly. We could, you know, just, we could take a knife and, you know, like that. Mm-hmm. I don't care who he's voiced by. He need to go. should be voiced by somebody like in some anime that's like recent and be like oh shit Maybe you could ask Smith for pointers. Got a lot of bags under his eyes. Goto, like seriously, out of all the people, why Goto? What is it about? He's got something over her. I don't know. But at the same time, he calls her a stalker. Like, ugh, I hate guys like him.
And see, we as women, we don't see that because why we're head over heels in love with them. It's like, ha, ha, ha. You didn't. You can't do it. Mm hmm. Maybe it's been like that since the beginning, and you just didn't realize it. That's it. You didn't lose, did you? He lost, didn't he? Are you kidding me? So that's what you meant. Okay, good, thank God. All right, so yeah, let's talk about go to again. Asshole, asshole, asshole. I want him to go. That's it. He's a fucker and I don't like him. He, you know, whoever he is voice like, <laughs> you're doing a good job. you making me really hate this character because like, oof. Oh my god, because that's what it was like for freaking Kyoko because I'm like, yeah, I'm going to hate this bitch. And then in the end, now I like her. But whoever plays Goto, <laughs> fuck him. Uh, but you know, good job still. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> but oh my god. Having the first half 
B and Smith's POV. I loved it. That was good. That's what I need. I loved that. I loved seeing him, you know, getting into his routine and ish and stuff. But at the same time, I'm going to say something from like what I remember a couple episodes ago where I think it was the guy who was, uh, Kyoko was talking about who Ray was going against where he said that, um, Ray was like his grim reaper, almost like ending his career and such. That's what it kind of felt like with Smith, except that's Gotoro. I, I mean, I think it's almost like that with every person who plays in a match, whether it is for Shogi, regular chess, um, checkers, uh, basketball, um, tennis, football, any other sport that I can name, because you don't know who's going, how the outcome's going to go at the end of the day, who's going to win, who's going to lose. And sometimes a game can make or break someone's career. I've seen it firsthand. Um, hell where I used to live before I moved, we had a couple of houses down from us. There was a football player, um, who lived a couple of houses down from me. And of course he plays, in my opinion, from where I live, aka the worst team in this state. And everybody, you know, still goes to go cheer them on, even though, you know, they're a bunch of elves, but you know, that's okay. Y'all do you. I don't like football like that, but, um... No matter what, because I remember they would always really talk shit about him um, in media and stuff. And as someone who really only looks at, like, pop culture references and, you know, celebrity media, because that's me, and everything. I remember one time of, like, seeing, I was bored and there was really nothing on. And I was, like, flipping through the channels and stuff. And it popped up and I was like, oh. But it, it it happens with, like, any type of athlete and such. And it's just, oh, God, I don't know. Sometimes you want to ask them, like, those questions about how do you feel when you do lose a game? How do you feel when someone who is possibly better than you goes against you? Are you, do you have anxiety? Do you get nervous? Um, do you feel like your whole world is, you know, crumbling under you if you lose this game? How are people going to look at you compared to the person who won? There's so many unanswered questions with that. But still, go to the a fucking asshole. Kyoko, you need to find another man. I mean, Jesus, like, seriously, yeah. How old was this man? This man in his 40s? Like, seriously? Hmm. Kyoko's like... 18? Nineteen? No, right? Mm. 17? They they gotta be at least... Her and Ray have got to be at least the same age, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to say that it it's grooming between him and Kyoko because it doesn't look like the relation, they're in a relationship together. It just still completely seems one-sided that he doesn't give any, like, a rat's ass about her, but because she's so headed over heels in love... And she is wearing the uh, the watch that he gave her. He still maybe somewhat cares for her. I'm not 100% sure. But that's why, like, there needs to be an episode or at least maybe the first 15 minutes focusing on her so that we get that. Because I want to know why in the fuck she's dating someone who's 41 years old. And not that the fact that I have a problem with that, but, like, because... People date people, whoever the fuck they are. Just don't don't date somebody who's like 16. No, don't do that. It's gross. Um, she's dating someone. Maybe because of the, the trauma that she experienced because of her dad or something. Like I said, there, there's a lot of, there's so many freaking unanswered questions with it. And I want to know, <laughs> like, ASAP because I, 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 I don't know. I feel like he might do something to her. I don't think he's going to like try to kill him. I mean, kill her. I know, we all know that she might. I mean, shit, cause, like, hey, power to you. I mean, you know, I'm here for you. I would literally be that person. But, like, she did it in self-defense, officer, your honor. Like, mm-mm. She didn't mean to. She was protecting herself at the end of the day. But there's something else there. And I just, I need that hook just to be like, 
that's the reason why. And I'm guessing we're not going to get it until maybe a couple of weeks from now. I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 12 and 13 of March Comes In Like a Lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else. And on Friday for Patreons for episodes 14 and 15. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And I will see you guys officially all next time. Bye.